Hey, I'm Coach Katrina, a personal trainer and owner of the club. I have lost 100 pounds two times in my life and gained it back three times. And what I find works best for my body and my mind is to just find balance with food. So here is Clean As Sheets with Coach. Hey y'all, Coach Katrina here. Today we are making veggie crescent roll pizza. This is a common favorite at um, summer barbecues usually. I've had this a lot in the past and it just popped up on my Facebook the other day and I was like, that is the perfect cleanish snack. Oh, okay. All right, got it. And so now I'm just going to spread it out over my pan, but, um, and it calls for an un ungreased pan. So just make sure it's an ungreased cookie sheet. And then usually, I guess if you were using this in the way that it's supposed to, you would be separating um, these pieces, but because we want it to be a dough, we want them to stay together. So now I'm just gonna kinda mold them closer to each other, just make sure that the seams don't come apart. All right, so I think I got kind of all the lines blended together. Now you can see that if I would have had the two, it would have filled this pan um, completely, but um, I think this would be a nice size too for, like if you were just having like a guest or two over and, then, and you only had one crescent roll, I think that this would be enough. So I'm going to put this in the oven. Um, the instructions call for 375 for 10 to 12 minutes. So I'm gonna pop that in and then while that's in the oven, I'm gonna start cutting my vegetables. So calls for broccoli, red and yellow um, bell peppers, cucumber, and carrots. And then I think the other things that it said that I could be adding is um, cauliflower, said zucchini, um, tomatoes, um, olives. I was going to put some olives, but I realized the ones that I have are pitted, so I ain't got time for that. But if I had olives, I would probably put olives on too for sure. And I also think like, I don't know, some like chickpeas or something could be cool on this if anyone, um, you know, out there is a vegetarian and they're wanting to make this um, a meal for themselves and they want to add some extra um, plant protein, then that would be, could be a way to do it. I think lentils would be good too. Um, but since I only have half of the roll, I'm only going to do like half of, um, I guess the amount of vegetables, um, and even like seeing this now, like that would pretty much cover like all of the sheets. So I'm going to say that that's enough broccoli and we know no fancy knife skills over here. I'm just chopping them until they're small pieces and then I'm going to put them to the side. Um, it does tell you to like build it. Um, like broccoli first and then the peppers and the carrots. So I'm just gonna follow the recipe for once in my life. Right, so for the peppers, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm only gonna use half a red pepper, half a yellow pepper, because the original recipe calls for a whole one. So I'm just going to um, make these into smaller pieces. Okay, so red peppers cut, and then I did the yellow ones and just put them also in their own separate jar. I'm gonna do the cucumber next. I think, I can't remember, I think it called for like a whole one, um, but I have like three quarters of one. And this cucumber, it's from Sunny Nook Farms. I used the rest of the vegetables that I had got from there. Only had the cucumbers left to use today, but hopefully soon. We'll be able to have more farm fresh vegetables ready for us. Now I'm going to peel and shred the carrots and then onions. 
and that'll be enough. And I can smell that the dough is close to being ready. I'm actually gonna go double check it so that I don't burn it. Oh yeah. All right, I think, I think it could use like about 30 seconds more. It's nice and golden brown. There's just one side of it that looks like it needs a little bit longer. And of course I said 10 to 12 minutes, but everyone's oven is gonna be a little bit different. So just make sure you keep an eye on it. And with the dough, um, you have to let it cool before you can put this on. So that's why I threw it in there first, and then I'm going to let it cool before we assemble. Okay, for the carrots, instead of chopping them, we're going to shred them. I'm going to use this little one. Yeah. All right, so I think that's going to be enough. Now I can take my dough out. Beautiful. Nice and golden brown. We're going to let that cool down. So, um, last thing to chop, anyways, um, is just that onion. So again, this was um, extra. In the recipe for the dip that like goes um, as your bottom layer, it has onion and garlic powder in it. So the onion powder there might be enough for you. I just feel like some onions would be really tasty. So I'm doing some onions. Uh, you could use uh, red onions here as well. I have a yellow onion, but red would be good. I'd probably use like a little bit less if I was using um, a red onion though. I'm gonna say, I'm honestly just gonna do that a little bit. So just half of a small onion is gonna be enough. All right, so now I'm going to chop up the dill. So that's basically what the um, dip on the bottom is, is it cream cheese, sour cream, and dill um, dressing. So I got some fresh dill. So do that, just peel it off. There we go. Ooh, this smells so good. So um, I'm sure like if you only had dry dill and you wanted to make like a variation of this. So it calls for a cup when it's the full um, sheet pan. So I'm going to um, just eyeball about a half a cup, which is about that much, but for good measure, in true Italian fashion, I gotta put just a little extra at that. Okay, that's good. So now I'm going to just chop this up a little bit. It's a little bit more fine. I'm going to assemble our dip and then I'm going to really make sure that that cools down so I don't mess anything up. For the um, the dip, the spread on the bottom, oh, <laughs> well this isn't sour cream, this is gnocchi and meatballs for my mom, so I'm going to get <laughs> the sour cream. <laughs> so it called for three tablespoons, so I'm going to use just a tablespoon and a half. Whatever that was about two. Okay, two. And then it called for a whole um, one, like one, one package of this, but I'm obviously only going to need half. Maybe if you want this to combine better, um, make sure that the cream cheese is room temperature first. Um, <laughs> so I think I'm gonna have to let this chill. And then I'll add the dill and the onion and the seasoning. And hopefully once this is chill, that'll be chill and I'll be able to put it all together. All right, so I looked back at the recipe and it did say to use softened cream cheese, so I just messed up that part. 
Um, but now that it's softer, it's, I don't know, it's just like not looking like it's enough. So I could add, you know what I mean, more sour cream and more um, cream cheese. But I have some hummus that I need to use up. So I figure, why not? And I also have a half an avocado that I need to use up as well. So I'm gonna throw that in. If you're following the recipe as is, I'm sure you could just follow and not do this, but I like to use whatever I have. And these are all really good things for us. So now I'm gonna give this a mix. And then it calls for a dry pack of um, ranch, ranch dressing. Um, we couldn't find it at the um, grocery store, but um, instead of that, we can just use um, onion and garlic powder. It's gonna be pretty similar. Um, and then um, some parsley I'm going to use. And then she suggested as well to, to use seasoning salt, but um, I'm just gonna use a regular salt. So let's go garlic powder. Onion powder. And salt. And parsley. Okay, so now I can add the fresh dill in as well. And I'm thinking I'll add, instead of adding the onions to the vegetables, I'm gonna add these little onions to the dip. Okay, I'll give that a whirl. Oh, it smells so good. All right, so that is all mixed together and it looks and smells and tastes so yummy. Can you see? Yum. So this, this would be great to just have to make, um, to have on hand to eat with just cut up vegetables. I am not a person who particularly enjoys eating raw vegetables as they are. I like to have like a ranch or I use guacamole or hummus or a dip like this would be so, so good. So now I'm going to spread it over. This is nice and cool now. And then in the, uh, I looked back at the recipe because I didn't want to mess anything else up. It did say that I can actually uh, mix the vegetables together. So I guess they were just trying to give like a visual and they had put them on in the picture separately, but the recipe calls for you to um, mix them and then add them on. All right, so I put a decently thick layer um, and I did have a little bit left over, so I am gonna keep that to have just with some vegetables. Um, so we got our peppers, our broccoli. That's probably too much broccoli. Let's do a little less. Cucumbers. I feel like I'm gonna have way too much vegetable for um, this size, but um, I can always use this in a salad later. Let me give that a mix. All right, so this is nice and mixed. And I'm just gonna spread it on now. So colorful, so good for you. Good party fave. And I would also just make this to have for my lunch. I would have a couple slices of this, this maybe have it with a salad or something else on the side. Okay. And 
Okay, I'm gonna give it a little cut. Ooh, I also had the other idea, because I have some stuff left over, I thought that I could also make some pinwheels. So, so um, I just have some tortillas and I'm going to add some of the schmear. And then I'm gonna add our vegetable mix. You can see that I cut up way too many vegetables. So again, this is fine. I'm just gonna be able to put this on my salad later. So I thought if I did that, and then I put some ham, and then roll it up. Oh, may have put too much, that's okay. Make little pinwheels, can you see them? So yum. Mmm. That ham just took it to the next level. I would probably like put some ham onto this, like cut it up, put it up. Maybe some turkey, I don't know, get creative. Whatever you like, try it out. This is dope. Let's try this now. Because I want to see. How do I do this? We're going to go this way. Oh my god, that's so good. And, um, let's do that. Oh yeah. So good. I really hope you make this and enjoy it with your family and friends. When we can gather again, this would be for sure a crowd pleaser. Till next time, see ya.